Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The Steelers and Giants on a rainy Sunday has come true. O'Donnell will have a new man to hand off to, at least as a starter. It's Bam Morris with Barry Foster hurt. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers need a good running game. It doesn't necessarily have to be Barry Foster, but in Bam Morris, they believe he's a bigger, faster, stronger version of Barry Foster. Bam Morris' is only problem, this is his rookie season. This is his first start. Much heavier. Third. Brown wasn't looking for it. Megan picks it up, and Kevin Green drops him back at the giant 45-yard line. Oh, my. A minus 26 yards on the play. Brian Williams is the center. And in motion are the wide receivers. And Van Morris met in the hole sharply by Marcus Buckley. Oh. Back to the 25, picked up for a moment by the Steelers. And finally, the Giants get it at the 12-yard line. Brian Williams, as he was trying to block for Brown, number 61, is injured. The pocket begins to collapse. And Dave Brown, cousin, he can't uh, sense what's going on. But you're right, these Steelers are trying to pick the ball up and score. Hampton caught in the backfield. Great penetration from Gerald Williams. Take to Hampton. Brown. Oh, no. Incomplete. Howard Cross wide open. Went no. through his hands, hit his chest, had a chance on the bobble. And so Dan Reyes figuring, hey, we lost three in a row. I'm not going to gamble down here. Let's go for the easy field goal. Greg Lloyd did recover in time to make sure he didn't get it on the third, fourth chance. Your books will bring in O'Donnell. Well, that will make Linda happy as Eric Green grabs it and has the first uh, stealer first down at the 31-yard line. University. Van Morris making sure that he has... the Hampton caught in the backfield by an ankle and down for a loss of a yard. Hit in the backfield by Gerald Williams. Brown fumbles. And the Steelers recover in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. There's been no signal yet. I have not seen any one of the officials signal. Yeah, not a Kevin Green recovered the ball now. From the one yard line then. O'Donnell dumps it out to John L. Williams. And Williams gives him some breathing room and a first down. 13-yard gain. They struggled with that 14-10 win last week. First down, O'Donnell. And Morris. Out to the 26-yard line. Boy, shooting through is linebacker Levon Kirkland. He was in uh, almost beating the snap. Out of the backfield to John L. Williams. Pushed out of bounds by Buckley. And Blitz. Picked up nicely. Good throw by Brown incomplete. Boy, well, should have caught that The one. hit by Myron Bell, the rookie from Michigan State, jarred it away from Sherrard. Boy, well, Dick. I mean, Dave Brown did an excellent job on this one. This ball should be caught. He sees the blitzer. Pressure from the inside from Kevin Green. It's low to Sherrard's feet. Very difficult catch. This is the best field position for Neil O'Donnell to start a series. He gives to Van Morris. And Morris, going outside, picks up about eight yards. The bill. <laughs> O'Donnell to Morris. And they're going outside now with the rookie. And he has a first down at the Giant 32. Bam Morris is to this offense. Now that Barry Foster is hurt, they put it right back in his hands. Excellent blocking up front. Do all love. He dives for the first down. One of the few first downs the Steelers have had in this first half. Wide outs for O'Donnell. And a draw wide open. Big hole for Morris. Hurdles to the 18. First down, Pittsburgh. By the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive line. John Jackson, 65, just throws Strahan out of the way. And then also gets a block on Michael Brooks. 
First down 20. As you look at O'Donnell's numbers, another draw out of Van Morris. It's hard to believe that he weighs 235 pounds the way he can motor. And I see he should have put his shoulder down and run right over John Booty. This is a big, strong kid. It was the same draw play they ran before, Dick. And again, it is absolutely wide open. Excellent block downfield by the wide receiver, but he should have run right over John Booty there. One and a half minutes left for Neil O'Donnell. Underneath. Whoa, what a hit. Um, Andre Hastings, his first catch. John L. Oh, what a catch by Hastings. <laughs> Sliding to the far sidelines, reaches back and somehow controls it. Also, regarding Bam Morris and the fumbles, he said, no way is Bam Morris coming out of this football game. He said, Barry Foster's first start that he had under me against the Jets in 1992, he fumbled three times. And he's equating today's situation to that. They went on to win that game, and he said he's not going to pull the young Bam Morris because he doesn't want to mess with his confidence, Dick. Mm. Pressure throws underneath to Lewis and the rookie fumbles and now they're going to call it incomplete. Incomplete pass. Carnell Lake. It's again. O'Donnell completes the fig pen short of a first down at the 43. We've had a couple of those too. Brown. Swallowed inside the five yard line. And I, you can't blame that on Dave Brown. There was no one open. Brown to Morris. And he's down to the 42-yard line. That'll be close to a first down. Uh, he's, he's made the tackle. He looks a little tentative. Has 71 yards today, and he's averaging five and a half a carry. Well, that, uh, that would lead the league, probably. Now, in case you're wondering where he got the nickname Bam, <laughs> had some kid in the headlock and his wait a minute, I'll tell you after this play. Get to the up back, John L. Williams, and he slips through. A quick pop by Williams for a first down. So how did Bam get his nickname? <laughs> uh, he was uh, in Cooper, Texas, which is a small town, you see. Had a kid in the headlock, you understand. He was five years old. Five years old. His uh, great uncle saw him just hitting his kid in the head going, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> And they shortened it to Bam, and that's his nickname. Bam Morris. Steelers trail 6-3. Bam, Bam, Bam. To the 31-yard line. Morris. Good call for it. A screen to Morris. Again, he goes airborne and hit down at the 26. It's a first down. But that's Dick, a habit he's going to have to stop. You are absolutely correct. There is no question about that. He's done it about four or five times. This is well done by Pittsburgh. You see the blitz by the Giants. The line holds him up and still releases. See the blocking out front by uh, Eric Green, the tight end, but he's got to stop doing this. That, that is... A... So with the timeout, 6.32 left in the third. Still a field goal game. Defensive guy's going to be in the neutral zone. On second and four, Morris. Is he twisted down by Felipe Sparks? Keep the others there. I think we'll be all right. All right, let's, uh, let's listen to this play. No gain to the 20-yard line, Rodney Hepton. Uh, Dan Rooney uh, competing against a friend. 40-yard line, Brown. At the 48-yard line, let's just hope he's not injured. He was really turned backwards by Ray Seal Sack. 25 handicap player to the U.S. Open champion. That's all next Saturday. Brown guns it. Intercepted Darren Perry, his sixth of the year. That, for the moment, leads the AFC. It's oh. his tenth interception of the year. That's one more than Phil Sims all of last season. This is John L. Williams, almost got his head taken off, down at the 43, a gain of seven. And out of the shotgun, third, and a call it eight. Intercepted right to Ron Woodson. Woodson didn't have to move for it. 
looking for some blockers on this side and gets a couple. Good piece of running. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line, Rod Woodson, his second interception of the year. Woodson was definitely open. I don't know why he threw it here, but look at this. There's not a giant within six yards of it. Goodness. And the confidence of Woodson, he could have taken it straight ahead, maybe made five or ten, but he saw all this territory and the blockers over here, so he returned it some 20 yards. His 30th career interception. I'm serious, look at that. There is barely a giant in the picture. Field for a long field goal. The Steelers would like to gain some yards. Trailing by three. O'Donnell gets a few yards. And it's going to be a close to a first down. As Yancey Thigpen's second effort, he would have been stopped right at that yard stripe at the 25. And by lurching forward, has the first down Pittsburgh. He does a great job here, too, Dick. You're going to see him at the top of the screen. When O'Donnell starts to move right, watch. He moves out and back in, makes himself a receiver. O'Donnell makes the completion, and it is the first down, and the drive stays alive. Interesting call to John L. Williams, and he could go all the way to the five-yard line. See, pushing the back by the uh, receiver, Hastings, but it's not called, and the pitch is outside the blitzer, and there's nobody there for support. And the veteran Williams. First and goal at the six, the deepest drive for Steelers today. Van Morris looking for a block. Man, there's a bunch of Steeler fans here. Not a pull, a full block by Kalis, the right guard. Excellent block by John L. Williams there. Van Morris, high steps, and they Brown through the interception. Second and four. Rodney Hampton was really been stymied by the Steeler defense. Incomplete. He's getting low as Carnell Lake had good coverage. Break out of a three-game losing streak. Draw play. This has worked all day. Van Morris. First down at the 32, and the rookie from Texas Tech now has 102 yards rushing today. Big play for the Giants. Here's Carnell Lake with a sack as they use the safety blitz. Lake is very good at that. He had five sacks last year in a four-game losing streak. Van Morris breaking into the clear. And finally ridden down by Jesse Campbell out at the 43-yard line. First down, Pittsburgh at the two-minute timeout. One catch, excuse me, no carries. On second and eight, Morris has another first down or close to it. He's to the giant 47-yard line today's MVP. Well, they needed him. And off of his start, I mean, it shows a great deal inside that young man. About to face three and four. Morris. And they bump him out of bounds. That stops the clock. Campbell, but Morris just adding to his total 20 more yards for the young guy. His brother preceded him into the NFL as a wide receiver with the Chicago Bears, Ron Morris. This young man who grew up idolizing Walter Payton and Earl Campbell. Now, Bill Cowher's Steelers come into Giants Stadium and a game rated even. Manage the game's only touchdown in the fourth quarter and leave with a 10-6 win. We'll be back at Giants Stadium after this.